Six months after the new Mercedes C-Class sedan was launched, it's being joined on the catwalk by the T-Model station wagon variant. Like its sibling, the latest Benz has a lot in common with the carmaker's luxury models. So what does the T in T-Model stand for anyway? Sascha Kretz says that the first T-Model came out 40 years ago and that the letter in the name stands for Transport and Tourism, two key space concepts the brand had planned for the car. That first T-Model back in 1977 was revolutionary in how it made use of space. This animated ad shows how versatile the Mercedes T was for transporting lots of people and lots of cargo. The T-Model was the first in a long line of what Mercedes called its lifestyle station wagons. It put paid to the image of the body style as a kind of closed bed truck. Our car tester, Sascha Knapp, says that more than half of the C-Class cars sold are T-Models. He likes the features, like the one that allows you to open the trunk even when your hands are full. The trunk is slightly larger in the new model, Sasha says. It now has almost 500 litres of volume. With the back seat down, that triples, and lowering it is easy. If the front seats are so far back that they would block it, the system shifts them forward automatically. Then in back you have a loading surface that's almost completely flat. And you can fit in objects up to 1,80 m long. The whole car is 10 cm longer now, it's around 4,70 m in total. Those 10 cm improve passenger comfort in the back seat, says Sascha. There's really plenty of knee room now. Just like past models, the interior has a high-end feel. The T-Model comes equipped with lots of assistance programs, and as always with Mercedes, the workmanship is top-notch. The very first T-Models offered leather seats as an extra, and of course, that hasn't changed. Sascha Kretz says the car is a lifestyle product with great proportions that handles well. The design has gotten rounder, but it's still based on the classic concept. You can see that in the rear, he says, the most important area in a model like this. You can still fit 10 cases of drinks in there. The new T model is also 65 kilograms lighter, which Mercedes managed by making many of the components out of aluminium. Like the hood, for example. The lighter weight has an effect on fuel economy as well, says Sasha. The motors could be made on average 20% more efficient. We took out the 250T model. It packs 155 kilowatts of power under the hood and can hit 100 kilometers an hour from a dead stop in just 6.8 seconds. Its top speed is 244 kilometers an hour. With the C-Class, says Andreas Hefner, T-Model customers can communicate with the car on their smartphones via a web-based application. Through a Mercedes website, the customer has direct access to what's called Daimler Vehicle Backend, a secure IT system where you can view the data on your car. Here, for example, you can see the current fuel levels. They're updated every time the vehicle is turned on or off, says Hefner. It lets you know whether you'll definitely be able to make it back home on what's left in the tank, or if you really do have to stop and fuel up. You can also use the system to check whether you forgot to lock up. If you did, then you can do so without having to return to the car. And if you forgot where you parked, don't worry. Daimler Vehicle Backend knows where your ride is. Overall, our car tester was favorably impressed. The new C-Class T model is aimed at those who have to transport people or stuff but want to do it in style, says Sasha. But it doesn't come cheap. Bare bones versions of the car start at 35,000 euros in Germany and the C250 will put you back 40,000. It's not the cheapest solution out there. <laughs>